Todd Shelley here and uh, welcome to my second behind the scenes of 2020. Um, I'd actually planned on doing more but uh, it's been a little bit crazy obviously unless you're living under a rock you know all about the COVID-19 thing so uh, that's that's kind of thrown a monkey wrench into the works but uh, hopefully things are starting to get better. We shall see. Anyway, got several things to talk about and I don't want to take make this thing a real long drawn out episode. Um, I have a habit of saying these are going to be short then they end up being 10, 15, 20 minutes. But anyway, oh by the way, uh, I did not go to Kansas State. This, uh, this sweatshirt was a gift from uh, one of our nieces I believe. Anyway, uh, let's see, yeah, on my last entry uh, I mentioned that I was in the running for Artist of the Year for 2019 at Renderosity and uh, well I was deeply 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 honored to actually receive that uh, that award. I was voted by a pretty wide margin. So uh, all you guys out there that voted for me, thank you, thank you. You guys rock. And uh, you know, I'm, it's, it's a fantastic honor and I, I still can't get over it. But uh, anyway, a uh, couple other things. Um, I'm sitting on the bench here that used to be where my old computer used to sit. Uh, it died finally after the thing was years old and it was a uh, it was actually a kit uh, bare bones kit from Tiger I believe someplace anyway uh, it went through several uh, variations shall we say and uh, it finally gave up the ghost about a month ago so uh, it's gone and uh, the external drives that were on it have been spread around to the other machines so that's why my butt is on here instead of that computer uh, and of course TNA uh, yes I am working on it uh, like I said earlier this uh, everything that's going on is COVID stuff and everything is kind of throwing a monkey wrench into the works and, uh, and to be perfectly honest, my creativity has taken kind of a kick in the you know where. But that's coming back now. Uh, I've started doing some things. I've started doing some rearranging on the computers and with the poser uh, run times. And uh, I've also procured a two terabyte SSD for the DAS machine. So uh, once I get that installed and get all that rearranged, you'll start seeing more DAS stuff uh, coming in. Obviously, I'm not giving up on Poser. Po I've, I've got 2014 over on that machine. I've got uh, the new 11.3 version on my uh, Origin laptop. And, uh, and both are working beautifully. So uh, the, the DAS is just another tool in the toolbox. And let's see, streaming. I want to get, I've got a, an account at Twitch. And once I figure out how everything works, uh, that's something else in the planning stages, is uh, actually doing some live streaming of uh, me putting together some of the TNA pages. So uh, look forward to that. It's a fun way to hang out. Uh, there's a chat box people can visit and chat and uh, my friend Jay Vers Lewis, uh, WP Guru, does some live streaming and uh, another friend in New York, Chris Cox, uh, does a lot of Blender stuff and he does live streams. Uh, so I'm going to try to jump on that boat too. So anyway, um, What else? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go take a look in the shop. I've got a few things going. I'm trying to get this place, you know, some of the things that need done. Uh, this house is due for a new paint job, which is probably going to happen this summer if it ever warms up. So uh, let's go take a look in my shop and uh, 
I'll show you a couple of the things we're doing there and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, we are, as you may have guessed, in my shop, and uh, hopefully you can hear me. The furnace just came on. It's, uh, it's the middle of May, but it's still cold, and we're still getting the furnace on. Yesterday was beautiful. Today, not so much. Anyway, uh, I'm putting together some screens. I've had these frames. I put these frames together, I don't know how long ago. It's been years for, uh, for the... Uh, what passes as a patio out back and uh, found some screen the other day this is the uh, plastic fabric kind of screen not the wire stuff and this is just a whole lot easier to work with so uh, I have been putting these screens together And the staples work kind of, sort of, more or less. That uh, this side will be the side that faces inside where the frame is. The other side will face out. But uh, you'll see, you'll get to see that in a later video. I'll, uh, I'll probably be doing some videos. But anyway, let me show you where this is going to go. Let's take a look out back. Okay, we're out on my what passes as a patio and uh, these this was when we first moved in here this was all open and I built this enclosure and I had intended to put screens in there but never did and now it's you know rather than being an actual patio it's more just a storage space but uh, at any rate uh, that screen that I'm working on will go in one of these. I think that was numbered three, which would be this opening right here in the center. And I've got some work to do on some of this. Let's see if I can get this to focus. As you can see, the uh, the squirrels have been gnawing on this wood. Um, I guess they figured out that uh, the reason I put this out here was for them to uh, have some place to sharpen their teeth. But I've already had to take the piece out of there to, uh, to replace it, which I'll be doing soon. Okay, and looking down there, I'm hoping this is in focus because I don't have my glasses on and I have to stop and refocus this thing for different uh, different things but as you can see that plywood's kind of peeling away it's getting funky looking and uh, I just need to take these these two pieces of plywood and just pull them off and replace them and uh, the out the other two pieces are looking not too bad actually so that's uh, that's my plans for this this little square area here, um, I am going to be filling that, if you can hear me over all the airplanes and other things, uh, I'm going to be filling that with pavers and then concrete because when it rains this thing fills with water and it's right next to the foundation which is, uh, is not a good thing. And. Uh, Anyway, a quick look at my yard that needs mowed badly. I'd planned on doing that today, but unlike yesterday, it's a cold and gloomy day again today. Most of May has been. Okay, well, that pretty much wraps this one up. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I've got a, uh, got a little tip for you if you're doing like me, bouncing back and forth between two versions of Poser, um, 11.3 and uh, Poser Pro 2014. Uh, you can run into a few little issues, but uh, I've got a tip for you. 
that uh, that's helped me and maybe it'll help somebody else. So uh, until next time, this is Rod Shelley signing out, saying stay safe, stay healthy, keep your social distancing, wear your masks if needed, and uh, we'll get through this thing together. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Rod Shelley here with a uh, with a quick tip uh, for those of you like me that have both uh, Poser Pro 2014 and Poser Pro 11.3. This is Poser Pro 11.3, uh, the bond the new Bondware version, and uh, here we have uh, our little lady Arwen dancing in front of her window and. A lot of times what happens when you go between the two of them, uh, between 11.3 and earlier versions of Poser, is you will get this message. Can't find construct.obz. And all that is, the construct obz, what that is, it's your ground. It's this guy right here. And the easiest thing to do, click ground, right click, delete selected, OK. And then do a control S to save your file. Now when you go into Poser, if you, uh, if you move this file somewhere else and try to open it up in, uh, in Poser 20, 2014, uh, you won't get that error.